Okay, so the 45 seconds is complete. So I'm gonna shut the machine off and slowly release pressure back into the bell housing by switching the knob to vacuum release. You will see the gauge adjust and you'll hear the air rush back in. And I will remove the bell housing. And now I have my investment container. And the key to pouring this in is going down the sides of your flask so you're not reintroducing air bubbles into the mixture. And if some falls out on the side, no big deal. You want to go above the metal line of the flask. And if you go over, you can always file off the excess, but you don't ever wanna go under that. It won't make a good seal when you are vacuum casting. Okay, and that's the, that's why we use the tape. If you feel that you are gonna be a little short on your investment, it's better not to start pouring and just restart the mix rather than coming up shy. Um, you won't be able to remix and vacuum quick enough to add enough on the top before it starts to set. So you can see these are starting to set. So I'm not gonna use that for our second one. I'm just gonna go ahead and vacuum this. Oops. Switch it to the investment table and vacuum. You'll, you'll do the same thing. You'll watch the process of the investment rising. And it'll be bub bubbling and splattering and then it'll sink. And then 45 seconds after that, um, you'll stop the investment and your piece will be done. just set these off to the side so they can finish setting. Um, when it's all set, you can take a file and just level off the top of your plaster.